Dallas, Texas. The issue is. I'm Greg Krugan in Houston. I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. And I'm Rudy Koski in Austin, and this is Texas, The Issue Is. With Super Tuesday and the primary elections in the rearview mirror, incumbent Texas Senator Ted Cruz has wasted little time hitting the campaign warpath, hammering President Joe Biden and Democrats on their border policy and labeling opponent Colin Allred a disingenuous liberal out of step with Texas values. The entire purpose of the bill was it was Democrats who wanted to pretend they were doing something about the border, but at the same time, they didn't want to actually secure the border. The Lone Star State's junior United States senator ratcheting into full battle mode. First target, the so-called bipartisan border bill, torpedoed by Republicans in the Senate, but repitched as a solution by President Joe Biden in his State of the Union address. Given the opportunity for a majority in the House and Senate, would endorse the bill as well. It codified open borders. It codified catch and release, which is what has caused this crisis. It normalized 5,000 illegal immigrants a day. That works out to 1.8 million illegal immigrants a year. Every year into perpetuity, we'd have 2 million illegal immigrants minimum a year going forward for forever. It provided automatic work permits to illegal immigrants when they came here. It provided taxpayer-funded lawyers for illegal immigrants when they came here. It gave billions of dollars to sanctuary cities and, and, and to the to the NGOs that, that are trafficking illegal immigrants in this country, and so it made it worse. Also clearly on missile lock with Senator Cruz, his Democratic challenger Colin Allred, who the incumbent claims masqueraded as a moderate during the primary, head faking voters by voting with Republicans on a border resolution. Colin Allred's record is hard left. He voted with Nancy Pelosi his first four years in Congress 100% of the time. He literally did not deviate a single time. He's voted with Joe Biden 100% of the time. His record, he supported Joe Biden's open borders. He supports releasing violent criminals and violent illegal aliens from jail. He supported Joe Biden's higher taxes, higher spending, debt, the inflation that's come from it. If you look at Allred's record, it is far out of step with the people of Texas. As evidence, Cruz cites Allred's recent vote against a GOP House measure aimed at lifting President Biden's recent pause on new liquefied natural gas export projects. And that was designed to be a screw you to Texas, to hurt Texas, to hurt jobs in Texas. Colin Allred had a chance to vote to overturn that, and he voted with Biden and the Democrats because that's what he's done. He has been a left-wing Democrat in Congress. And on the intriguing topic of Senate Republican leadership succession, Cruz says he likes fellow Texan and candidate John Cornyn, but tells Texas the issue is he's yet to decide who will ultimately win his support. So I'm going to listen to all the candidates. And, and, and I think it's time for a new leader. I'm glad Mitch McConnell decided to step, to step down. I had called on him to do that. Uh, I think we deserve to have a strong conservative leader leading Republicans in the Senate. And, and what I really want is, is a leader who is focused on delivering on our promises, on doing what we said we would do. You know, you know one of the things, Greg, that I tell any newly elected senator or House member is I say, look, it, it, it's real simple. Just do what you said you would do. What, what, whatever you told the voters in September and October, this is what I'm going to do. Go to Washington and do that in January and February. And so that's what I'd like to see uh, with, with, with the new leader. All right, guys, with the fall election in mind, my one word description is undefeated. Rudy, what's your word? <laughs> well, he's certainly fired up. And my word, WrestleMania. All right, Stephen, what about you? I'm breaking all the rules. Full court press. All right, plenty here to work through when the Fox Texas Trio returns on the other side of this break. Welcome back as the Fox Texas Trio endeavors to unwind Senator Ted Cruz's barrage on Joe Biden and his opening shots at fall opponent Congressman Colin Allred. 
Rudy, fairly predictable line of attack there. Three years of Biden chaos on the border and labeling all red a left winger posing as a moderate. Your thoughts? Yeah, you know, I thought I was listening uh, not to Senator Ted Cruz, but uh, listening to uh, the best of Hulk Hogan, a Cruz maniac, just right before the start of a cage match, right? A lot of brash talk there, a lot of bravado there, brother. And uh, we're going to hear a lot more as this summer campaign heats up, which is why my word, Greg, was WrestleMania. All right, Stephen, our friend uh, Professor Mark Jones says this Texas Senate race may be the Democrats' best chance at playing offense and actually picking up a Senate seat. So All Red may well get some serious national money. Now, that said, he's got serious humps to get over, Biden at the top of the ticket, a border crisis most Texans blame on Democrats, and an opponent who's been here before and won. All Red is going to get the money. That That's no question. That's going to happen. The Democratic Party is going to send everything here to Texas. Not saying that they wholeheartedly believe that they can flip this, uh, that they will flip the state, but they're going to try. All Red does have an uphill battle. We already know it's been well publicized. The Democrat has not won statewide in Texas for about two decades. But if you look on paper, All Red is definitely not Beto. He's definitely more in the middle and can appeal to independents or just some Republicans who are frustrated with Ted Cruz in office. All right, Rudy, early polls have this Senate race as a legit battleground contest. If you are Cruz, do you stick with the fundamentals, border taxes and oil patch, or does he have to do more to hold the seat? Yeah, Greg, uh, first let me talk uh, about what Stephen just said. I think the Democrats are going to pump a lot of money here into Texas, but after a while, later on in the summer, I think they're going to pull back because they've got a lot of other serious races, some incumbent seats in the Senate that they're going to have to fund and will probably end up abandoning all red. With that said, the polling in this race is a lot like riding an old Astro World roller coaster. You know, short runs, quick ups, quick downs. You know, earlier this year, poll had this race tied. Then a survey came out showing Cruz with a big lead. Then another poll came out, another tie, nodding it all up. So I'm hearing that this race is not going to be a cruise control campaign. The senator is going to bring a big dump truck. Sure, he's going to blast all red for pushing that Trojan horse Senate border plan, which was nothing more than what he called normalizing the Biden open border policy. But the cruise plan is going to be attacking, uh, including uh, all reds linking him to uh, his voting record to Nancy Pelosi when she controlled the House, ripping up the State of the Union speeches, advocating for gun control, orchestrating the Trump Russian hoax impeachment hearings. Also, I'm hearing Cruz will take the issue, take on that issue that the Democrats believe is the GOP kryptonite, abortion. He's going to portray All Red's position on abortion as extreme, even though All Red's current campaign ads are somewhat pushing a moderate tone. All right, Stephen, what do you make of the senator's lukewarm at best reception of fellow Texan John Cornyn's bid to be Republican leader? You didn't out, expect him to outright just full-throated give an endorsement to John Cornyn, right? Um, he, he's playing politics. He's playing it the way you would expect uh, Ted Cruz to do. I don't believe that John Cornyn will win the majority leader if they take the majority. Um, but I think Cruz is playing it even killed right now. All right, Rudy, can't wait to hear your thoughts. Is there any chance <laughs> Cruz backs Cornyn? I agree with Stephen. I think the Senator Cornyn is a logical choice, but he's also being attacked as a rhino by Trump supporters who I believe will undermine his chances the same way that the Tea Party crowd went after Rick Perry's presidential bid several years ago. Remember that? I wouldn't be just surprised to see names pop up like Tom Cotton, even that old football coach, Tommy Tuberville, who causes so much trouble lately in the Senate, overshadowing Senator Cornyn in his bid for leadership. Greg? All right, we have a little extra time here. Uh, I'm going to ask you this, Stephen. What's the wild card in this race? Man, the, the wild card is something maybe happening at the top of the ticket. Uh, if, if Donald Trump, if there's a trial before Election Day, I think something extreme has to happen to totally turn this race upside down. Ten seconds, Rudy. The economy. Good answer. Let's leave it there. You can see the interview or any of our past interviews by going to our YouTube pages. You can also visit our social media sites to continue this conversation.
Next week, we talk to the man who is trying to unseat incumbent Senator Ted Cruz, Dallas Representative Colin Allred. We'll hear his take when you join us next week. And remember to let us know what you think the issue is.